And there's one thing that you raised, I think that's a pretty common thing for people from uh, people of color, especially within the workplace, is that there's this this thing where we audit whether or not it could be race. We, um, in essence, I mean, it's one of the things that you don't want to be true. It's not like we, uh, I don't, I mean, certainly what you've described is, is a very common pattern of not even recognizing or acknowledging it. And it takes a lot for somebody to actually come to that point of being like, you know what, it seems like, you know, after, after exhausting everything, this is what it is. Um, I mean, it, it, is that kind of how it went about for you? Yeah, it, it's funny. So we all know our own lives and we know the patterns that we generally get into with people, new people who we meet. We, we're familiar with how new people behave around us, particularly in a work environment where everybody's making an effort to be polite generally and professional. This person, you know, right from the very beginning, when I would start speaking in a meeting, they would visibly roll their eyes. They would cut me off you know, and interrupt me. They would challenge my ideas to the point where other people in the team had to come to my defense because it was so clear that the challenge was unjustified. And for a while, I started to wonder, and I think the real reason that I felt like I had to lodge the complaint was that when you're in an environment frequently enough and you're told something often enough, even if you know it to not be true, part of you does start to believe it, right? So I started to make myself smaller and I started to believe that I could achieve less and that I was less because that was the reinforcement that I was getting from this person. And it got to the point where that was, you know, seeping into other areas of my life. Um, it was in my personal life. It was in the way that I dealt with people. I was becoming a smaller, more fragile person, uh, which, you know, if you know me, is just not who I am. I'm 